Norman Rosenbaum knows the results of this sort of hate mongering. His brother Jenkel was beaten and stabbed to death during the anti-Jewish rioting in Brooklyn in 1991. Oh, Washington rolling over Jenkel. Washington. <laughs> Rosenbaum is on a mission to get the U.S. Attorney General to reopen the case against his brother's alleged murderers. Well, you don't have an appointment with the President, Norman. They're not going to give it to you. It's a regretless fund. The Australian that gets killed in the United States doesn't get the attention. But maybe the best, best form of defense is open. you got nothing to lose. You're here. This has made him friends in high places. In the U.S. Congress, he's lobbied extensively to get powerful voices behind his push to reopen the books on his brother's murder. Norman. Hi, how are you? How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's your family? Some, like New York Republican Senator Al D'Amato, no doubt have good political reasons for keeping the Jewish lobby on side. You know me, quite not assuming. But the access this Australian gets here is also due in part to fears of racial conflagration. Crown Heights main synagogue is the hub of the Orthodox Lubavitcher community. You come in at four o'clock in the morning, you'll find people here. Yeah. Um, you will see that people come in, they chat, say hello, they then go and pray, others go straight to prayer. Here in the men's section is the most concrete example of the religious traditions that bind these people together. One of the things that's obvious about this community, and you've noted it yourself, is that it takes pride in being different. Is it their distinctiveness that's made them a target? It's, it's not so much their um, physical appearance and their identity per se which makes them a target. If anything, it's the envy and jealousy. For example, um, there, it's a community which shows initiative. It doesn't wait for the city to um, react to unemployment and welfare um, problems and issues. They do it themselves. The so-called Jew Holocaust. And I say so-called Jew because he's not a real Jew. He's a Johnny-come-lately Jew who just crawled out of the caves and hills of Europe just a few days ago. The original Hebrews, uh, Moses, Abraham, were men of African descent and their wives were African, uh, their children were African. They grew up in African countries. Now they say you're a so-called Jew. That's what they refer to us as, the so-called Jews. At a yeshiva or religious school in Brooklyn, Norman Rosenbaum addressed the non-African children of New York Jews. And they're saying that because what they're trying to do is build up the justification to physically attack us to dehumanize us. And you know who did that last time? Adolf Hitler. Good evening. This is the truth hour. And don't you touch that dial. You stay tuned in to the truth hour. Don't walk out of here saying, it can't happen to me. Don't start saying that it can't happen to anybody in my family. Don't start saying that I'm the last person in the world it could happen to because it's already happened to him. My brother Yankel was the last person in the world it could happen to. Him. 